That's it, Dan. You all got today's hot sheet? Questions? All right, move out. Lucas, you wait a minute. I said Lucas, didn't I? O'Malley's not sick. He's gold bricking. He's not even home. I telephone. No answer, so I telephone the next door neighbor who happens to be a friend of mine. Yeah, I got a friend, Lucas. Maybe two. Free if you count my brother in Oregon. One of the O'Malley kids told the neighbor they were going on a little family jaunt to some cabin in the mountains someplace. Cute. Really cute. Now, here's a word to the wise. You tell O'Malley the department won't be made a patsy. Is that clear? He's cheating the department. He's making a jackass out of me. And that's something that just ain't about to happen. Officer Lucas. Understood? Fine. Here's the rest of the message. I got a computer printout on O'Malley. He's made a mistake. He has no sick leave days left. That's the truth. So he's on duty tomorrow morning. And he's going to work every day that he's got left. Hit the bricks. The idea is, Captain Skink, is that a few of O'Malley's friends, me included, want to transfer about 10 days of our accrued sick leave to O'Malley. Transfer? Yeah, as a sort of a going away present for O'Malley so that he can take his 20-year retirement without ever having to come down to work again. If the Civil Service Commission were to permit that, Every time an officer got low on funds, he'd just up and sell a chunk of his sick time to one of his buddies. Yeah, we, we're not selling anything here. Sell, give, it's all the same on a computer printout. Johnny, I have to be quick. I'm in a gas station, and we're on our way back to the city. Frank's in the men's room with Jay and John, and I don't want him to know I'm calling. Is he all right? No, he's not. He's had chest pain real bad. And he seemed to want to come home. And I guess way out here in the sticks is no place for us to be anyway. I just thought you better know. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you called. He keeps talking about his retirement papers all the time. Is it all in order? Is it this? Is it that? Are they? Oh, yeah, they're being worked on, Lil. It's like a mania with him, Johnny. Well, now, you listen, I, I promised you I'd take care of that. You remember? Now, just get him on home. Yeah, I better get off. Bye-bye. I don't know how we can thank you enough. So long, Lil. It's gonna be a long two weeks. Frank, you all right? Frank? Yes, so, so. Maybe we ought to get you to the hospital. Over my dead body. <laughs> That's kind of funny, isn't it? Frank, I want you to know that I became a cop because of you. It was the good guys and the bad guys. You're the best of the good guys. Just wanted you to know it. That's all. I'm gonna get you to the hospital. No, 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 that'll blow the whole thing. There's only a few days left. I can make it. Hey, turn left over the bridge, here, will you? Frank, I really shut think up, that we have... Shut up, just shut up, and now you promise to help me. Just turn left, do like I tell you. 1A43, officer requests assistance at Del Rey and Harbor, code 2. Oh, shut up! Crawford, need any help? No, everything's under control. I heard a call for Lucas. Did he show? Nope. He's probably goofing off somewhere. We better go see if we can find him. 
All right, now you want to tell me again how you dropped the boat on the car? Hey, George, you see Lucas? No, why? He didn't respond to a call. Let's go find him. These canals all look alike. Where's their hideout again? The empty lot. Take the next left. It's all over. Maybe we could... He's dead! Frank is dead. What's the matter? Didn't you ever see a stiff before? Can't you leave him a little privacy? He just fell over dead, that's all. I'm sorry, George. I guess we call in, we get an ambulance. We tell Mother Nichols that the system won. Frank tried, but the system won. We'll have to call Lil. Yeah. I mean, now. She'll have to tell us where she wants Frank taken. Hey, listen. About that, uh, I, uh, well, maybe it's none of my business. What is it? Well, I got an uncle. I'm his favorite relative. He, he thinks I'm the greatest thing that happened since Nat Turner. What are you talking about? Well, he owns a funeral home, the Pulaski Funeral Home. Well, do you guys know how much a funeral cost? And there's O'Malley. He's probably not going to get that pension, you know? I, I guess this ain't no time to be talking about money. But my Uncle Stan, I'm sure he would do it for nothing. Well, if you guys think it's wrong or anything, I just... I just thought I might be able to do something to help the family out. Don't be looking at me like that, Johnny. It's just an idea. Hey, Marv. If we took Frank to the funeral home, would your, uh... Would your uncle cooperate with us? Well, like what? What are you cooking up, Johnny? The system isn't gonna win. Frank is. Would he cooperate with us? Well, if I asked him to, yeah, I guess he would. All right. We take Frank to the Pulaski Funeral Home right now. And we don't report to anybody. Not anybody. Till we talk to your Uncle Stan. You want me to hold the remains of the officer for ten days? Nine. On the seventh, we're home free. On the seventh, a week from Sunday, the department has no choice. O'Malley's family gets the full 20-year pension. Until then, they've got to think he's still alive and working. You, all of you, officers of the law are asking me, a non-officer of the law, to break the law? Hey, Uncle Stan, come on. You're not breaking the law if you have the widow's permission. I haven't seen any widow. I haven't seen any permission. I'll get it. And a death certificate? Will you also get a post-dated death certificate? You bet I will. Hey, Uncle Stan, I've been telling all the guys what a, what a great guy you are. I've been telling all my buddies how you'd go along with Johnny's idea. How can you say no? Who said no? Lil says she'll go along with it. She hasn't told the kids yet. She's going to take them to Nevada to visit her sister for a week. Tell them that uh, Frank's in the hospital for some tests or something. They're leaving tonight. I thought she'd throw you out on your ear. She did. I kept coming back. What persuaded her? The truth, which is this is what Frank wanted. I would have if he'd have thought of it. Hi, Doc. Come on in. So, Johnny, I did it. Good. Thanks. Uh, you all know Dr. Kropotkin? Hello, Hi, hello. Hi, Doc. So much death I have seen in my life. But I tell you this about your friend, our friend, Frank O'Malley. 
He died lucky. Fest. No unendurable pain and rich in his belief in God. We should all be so lucky. Did you give Uncle Stan the death certificate? I did. Pose dated. What about your retirement? Only from practice, not from my license. And I'll give you another little piece of information. If you're doing what I think you're doing, it's a good thing I'm still a member in good standing of the California Bar Association. Uh, Johnny, you'll excuse me. I'll go back to my bed. Goodbye. Tosh, sit down. All right. For nine days, we have to think of ways to cover everything. That's everything. O'Malley's neighbors, Frank's comings and goings, the roll calls, uh, traffic citations, nickel street inspections, the worst. Here, get yourself a pencil, get yourself some paper, sit back. 